Italy is a fascinating place to visit because of its art, history, and natural beauty. This country shines from the canals of Venice to the ancient wonders of Rome. Ten beautiful places to visit in Italy will be featured on this trip. We want to find out what makes Italy so special. Subscribe to gain knowledge about the exquisite beauty of Italy and other amazing places of the world. Number 1. Polignano Amare Polignano Amar is a charming town in the metropolitan city of Bari, Apulia, southern Italy, on the Adriatic coast that can be described as Jewel. Known locally as Peghenien, it has been inhabited since prehistoric times and was once an important commercial center during ancient Greek and Roman times. The old part of the town is full of old buildings situated on top of limestone cliffs that overlook clear sea. The town's beauty becomes more visible by its whitewashed houses, hugging the rock headland, narrow lanes and arches covered with colorful flowers. Polignano, a mayor's well-known beaches, including Lama Monachile, have been awarded the blue flag status for their unpolluted waters. This heritage can be seen in the historic district, where one can walk down alleyways to panoramic terraces. There are some landmarks worth mentioning, like the Marcasal Arch, which is an ancient entrance to the city or Piazza Vittorio Emanuele II full of life. They include street names whose poetic verses give them a sense of romanticism. To this day, Polignano Amare remains a vibrant tourist spot, thriving on tourism, agriculture, and fishing, thus keeping up with long history as Italy's splendid coastline destination. Number 2. Venice. Known as Venezia in Italian, it is a hugely prestigious and historically important city located in northeastern Italy. It is the capital of the Veneto and famous for its canals and bridges, as well as the specific shape of the city. Built on 126 islands, Venice is connected with the help of more than 400 bridges, and its waterways are the main means of transportation. The metropolis traces its origins to the Roman Empire but developed as a center of maritime power and culture during the Middle Ages and Renaissance Venice, became a key figure in European and Far Eastern reform, as well as art and design. Today, Venice is known for its creative heritage, impressive Gothic Renaissance architecture, and annual fairs, with the theater hosting the well-known Venice Festival despite. Challenges such as floods and erosion, Venice is the best travelers attracting traffic by its unspoiled beauty and romantic atmosphere. The town's economy relies heavily on tourism, but in addition, colorful neighborhoods continue the lifestyle, still practicing traditional crafts such as glass blowing and lace, making today seafood and delicacies perfectly and distinctively Venetian food reflects its rich history as a crossroads of cultures. Number 3. Petigliano Petigliano is a cute town in the Maremma region of Tuscany, Italy. It is sometimes called Little Jerusalem. The medieval town, which is nestled above Tufa, is famous for its stunning views and long history. Town buildings and homes look like they were made directly from the volcanic tuff, which is ancient Etruscan. This is where the stone was first found and then used to build homes, residences, and wine cellars. Architecture in the city is a mix of medieval and Renaissance styles. The Orsini Palace and Museum is one of the most impressive buildings the Orsini family built before the Medici dynasty, and it is now a museum with artifacts that show how the city was used in the past, provides information about how people live in the Jewish community. While Petigliano is surrounded by green hills and the rivers Lente and Meleda, 
the natural setting is just as impressive. Within the city's old walls, which blend in with the cliffs and along its charming streets and avenues, the breathtaking scenery begs to be explored and found. It's a museum about culture and life history. Number 4. Cinque Terre National Park. It's in Liguria, which is in the north of Italy. Popular for its stunning views and cultural significance, most beautiful of the five villages there is Vernazza. The brightly colored homes and old buildings make it stand out. Italy's first national park and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It first opened in 1999. There are steeply terraced olive groves and vineyards around Vernazza's small marina. These plants and people have worked very hard for hundreds of years to grow crops in this tough land. Because the streets in the village are so narrow, there is a busy piazza where people from all over can meet and talk. You can smell Italian food everywhere. The octagonal tower of the Santa Margarita d'Antiochia Church is one of a kind and makes a great view of the sea. It's a calm spot to consider. A lot of eco-friendly tourists go to the park, which is good for the farms nearby and helps keep the terrace landscapes. The rough paths that connect Vernazza to the other five Cinque Terre villages can be walked on. You can see the Mediterranean and the nearby hills in a beautiful way from every trail. If you want to see a magical and one-of-a-kind place, Cinque Terre National Park is the best place to go. Number 5. Milan Milan powers Lombardy. Here, old and new blend well. This is the Italian name for this city. More people live there than in any other Italian city. One of the world's most important cities. Milan had many residents, including Rome and the Celts. It has long been a hub of power, culture, and innovation. Today, this city has one of Europe's highest GDPs. So it's a business, style, and fashion hub. Some of Italy's biggest banks and fashion houses are there. The busy Porta Nuova Business District and Italy's main stock exchange, Borsa Italiana, indicate a strong economy. It shares Venice's culture and arts. The Duomo di Milano is often called the world's largest cathedral. Gothic style sets it apart from the city's skyline. The convent of Santa Maria del Grazie displays The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. Milan's La Scala Opera House is also worth seeing. World-class shows are its specialty. Milan alters schools. Youth should attend top schools like Milan University and Polytechnic University to become leaders. Milan prioritizes eco-friendly projects and long-term living. The city is a green innovation leader. Go to Milan for fashion. Milan Fashion Week turns streets into catwalks for new styles. The city has hosted the world's largest furniture show, Spanese Del Mobile. For years, Milan has some pride in its past and future. Every building and street corner has a tale. At any time, you can feel Italian life. Milan has an excellent economy and a rich cultural history. Number 6. Matera 
Matera is in the region of Basilicata in the south of Italy. It is beautiful and old. For over 10,000 years, people have lived in Matera, which is the capital of the province. Most people know the city for its sassi, which are homes made of limestone. These homes make up the UNESCO World Heritage Center of Matera's city. In Cavioso and Barisano, there are sassi. There is the city's cathedral and the government building. Because Matera is built in three parts, its history and growth have been kept alive for hundreds of years. In the last few decades, the city's historical sites, traditional food, and cave hotels have made it a popular tourist spot. The story of how Matera came back from the dead to become one of the most interesting cities in Italy. Living history has always been interesting to creative people. Matera's cultures are clear when you walk through the Sassi, eat local food, or look at the views. Number 7. San Gimignano People have called San Gimignano the medieval Manhattan of Tuscany. It is a great example of Italy's history and architecture. The skyline of this UNESCO World Heritage Site is famous for its beauty. It is made up of 14 tower houses that were once signs of wealth and power. These tall towers, which were built in the 12th and 13th centuries, show how competitive the noble families were. The town has a lot of history, and the views are lovely. Around 3100 BC, San Gimignano was an Etruscan village. During the Middle Ages, it grew as a stop on the Via Francigena, a path used by people to make their way to Rome. Its position on top of a hill gave it safety and a view of the Elsa Valley, which helped it become a busy trade hub that made Tuscany envious. People can walk around on the town's cobblestone streets visit the civic museums, and be amazed by the frescoes in the Church of Sant'Agostino and the Collegiate Church. You can enjoy the famous Vernaccia di San Gimignano wine, savor saffron-based treats, and get lost in the views that have inspired artists for hundreds of years. The town is more than just a relic from the past. It's a living museum. The town of San Gimignano is more than just a place to visit. Each stone there tells a story of hard work, creativity, and the strength of the human spirit. Number 8. The Dolomites Many dream of adventure in the Dolomites. Beautiful northeastern Italian southern limestone Alps. There's more to the Dolomites than mountains. The rocks are scattered. France's Deodat Gratte de Dolomio is Dolomite. The 18 peaks above 3,000 meters in the Dolomites make them a great place to think. The most beautiful and tallest mountain is Marmolata which is 3,343 meters high. At this UNESCO World Heritage Site, mountain trails lead to hidden valleys and views that will take your breath away. Initially, the Dolomites appear small. This area has many charming villages like Cortina d'Ampezzo, a mountaintop cultural treasure. The beautiful Dolomites have a rich history and traditions. The Dolomites' sunrise and sunset gold light reminds us of the world's beauty. Every view has a tale, and every second conjures memories.
Number 9. Rome. The ancient stones that were used to construct Rome's walls contain the city's entire history. The city's architecture keeps the past alive by preserving the artifacts of its inhabitants. Legends abound regarding the city's construction, beginning with the story of Romulus and Remus as its founders, and continuing through the stories of the Roman Republic's ascent and the Roman Empire's glories. Westerners strongly advise that you see the Colosseum, Pantheon, and Roman Forum because they are so historically and aesthetically important. For all time, the urban core will have an effect on our government, language, built environment, and legal system. The modern legal systems of many countries have their roots in the strict Roman legal system. Latin was the language of the elite in ancient times. Many believe it to be the linguistic progenitor of Romance languages due to the significant influence it had on English. The Romans laid the groundwork for modern cities and built extensive networks of roads and aqueducts that are still in use today. Even now, many of their other acts are carried out. Contemporary audiences find meaning in the city's literary, creative, and intellectual traditions. More than just a city, Rome is a sign of how strong and creative people are. Some of the things we build and stand for will still be important to many people after we're gone. Rome is where our story takes place. People always want to find what they've lost during the ups and downs of life. Number 10. Pompeii A long time ago, Pompeii was a busy Roman city. It now stands for how quickly and badly nature can act. The city of Pompeii was buried in ash that made it look like it had never died when Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 CE. In a strange way, this terrible blanket of destruction kept the city safe and gave archaeologists a new way to learn about how people lived in the past. Not long ago, beautiful frescoes from Greek mythology were found in a banquet hall. They showed things like when Helen of Troy was taken by Zeus. There was a lot of art and culture going on inside these walls, as shown by this. What's left of a business that made a lot of bread, shrines with snakes in the kitchen, and a bakery with loaves baking show how people lived and did business. A lot of books, songs, paintings, and movies have been influenced by Pompeii. We can walk the streets of the past and stand where the Romans did. We can also see art and architecture that still affects us. Pompeii isn't just an archaeological site. It's also a history lesson, a lesson in humility, and a story of how people can keep going even when things get hard. We hope that the breathtaking landscapes and rich history of Italy have been an inspiration to you as we conclude our tour of its magical sites. There are more thrilling adventures waiting for you. Keep up with our travels by subscribing.